With this simple trick, Cassidy can pocket 7,000 of Nellie Payne's money. And if regulators raise questions, there is an application on file that looks entirely legit. There was people in St. Louis and people in Austin, Texas, doing that every day for seven, eight, nine years. And that is how they did Illinois business. Insurance applications were systematically and regularly whited out so they could steal the insurance premiums. Making the con even more cunning is that the people who are hired to white out the contracts are told they are merely correcting an error made in the field. These were people who didn't have the best education, and this was the best job that they ever had. So they went and did that. They were unwitting participants in a very major fraud. But with the whiteout trick, a Ponzi scheme is born. Because to keep an insurance policy active, Cassidy now has to make monthly payments on each of the policies he alters. And the only way to fund that is to get new business.